you're listening to Cross Rhythms Plymouth 96.3 FM and I'm joined uh, in the studio by the fabulous Will Allen. Hello Will. Hello. Uh, great to have you here in person. Uh, the last time we did an interview it was uh, during COVID. It was in lockdown. Uh, it was over Zoom. It, yeah. It was, this is this is a fun. nice uh, atmosphere. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're like a 3D full person yeah. and everything. Look at that. Um You've been busy as well. Mm. I mean, since we spoke, you've got married, you've graduated, yeah. you've moved house, you've moved yeah. cities. Yeah. Uh, and that, like that all notwithstanding, you've also produced a new EP. Somehow. Yeah. How <laughs> have you managed all these things, Will? Uh, Tell us. What is your, well, how do you manage like, no, I'm kidding. Well, it's all slowly, <laughs> it's, it has been two years. So That's true. Uh, it has been a little while. Yeah. But you've crammed a lot in. Yeah. It's been busy and I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Well, we won't keep you too long. Uh, well, uh, you have produced an EP. Um, so what's it called, first of all? And uh, tell us a little bit about the kind of journey making that, because obviously you have been busy. How have you kind of fitted that in? Has it been something that's been ongoing for a, a much longer time? Talk mm. to us a little bit about it. Yeah, well, as soon as I finished the first EP during lockdown, uh, I felt my heart to make the next one. I feel like whilst making the first EP, I was writing so many songs and I was thinking, oh gosh, I really want to get these songs out. And so uh, yeah, I started that process, and, and as I said, it's taken it's taken two years. Um, I've changed the name of the EP a few times. Really, um, and when lockdown finished, it felt appropriate, and and the name of it is a great calm. Right. So it's the kind of uh, aftermath of of a storm. Um, and so previously it was called running through the storm and then it was strolling through the storm and now it's a great calm. So, mm. you know, like when Jesus calmed the storm, it says, and then there was a great calm. So that's the sort of uh, vibe of the album. And I feel like each song kind of takes you on this journey of, of, of running to almost slowing down. Mm. Um, so the last song is called Not Going Anywhere. Nice. Um, so... Yeah, it's been it's been a long process and longer than I would have liked. And I've and again, I've been writing songs and I've got other songs that I want to get out now. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's been a it's been a good process. Yeah, but a long one. Awesome, awesome. So has obviously, as I say, you you've got married, moved house, graduated, mm. lots of big life stuff. Yeah, uh, moved to back to Plymouth. I know it's moving city from where you were mm. before, though. Um, has has that like informed the EP at all? Like, because obviously, if you started had some of those songs before those things, mm. has any of that process changed any of the recordings, any of the way it's come out, or even that yeah. title? Is it has it influenced it at all? Well, yeah, definitely the the title, and I feel like uh, when when lots of life change happens, you you grow in that time, and I guess I've matured a lot, and. Um, the songs uh, were all written during lockdown, actually, so none of them have changed thematically or anything like that. But definitely the way I've produced them, um, the way, or yeah, me and my producers have made them and the way that it was recorded um, throughout. Hopefully it's got better as it goes on. So as you listen, hopefully that that's the case. And the final song is one I actually recorded very recently. Um, and I and I did add an extra verse and it was for those friends that I left behind in Bath where I was. Mm. Um and that was fully produced by myself as acoustic version. And I guess that kind of displays where I want to go next. And um, so, yeah, pushing into that more uh, folk genre rather than the dancey pop genre. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And the kind of self-producing a songwriter. Um, so, yeah, it's exciting. I'm excited for the for the next steps. That's great. So you mentioned, obviously, there about the kind of having producers involved. Mm. How did the recordings take place? Did you record all of them at like one go or do you record them at disparate times and have different people involved in that process? Talk to us a bit about that. Yeah, it was very spread out. So yeah, I started um, with some friends at church um, who are very good at what they do and I was very grateful for all their help um, recording in their homes and and that spread out. And um, yeah, again, over two years. So the first couple of songs uh, I actually was able to release a couple of years ago. So um, Are You Ready was that first one mm. and then Screen Revolution a year later. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then finally the rest of the EP has come out uh, just a couple of months ago. Uh, and as I say, with the last one recorded in, in my own home at the time. So, Love that. Um, yeah, it's exciting. Love that. Well, we're going to uh, we're going to play one of your songs now. We're going to play Runaway. Nice. And, uh, and then we'll talk specifically a little bit about that song and then where people can hear it uh, and the, the EP uh, in general. Uh, talk more with Will after this. Good. That was Will Allen with uh, a track called Runaway and as if by magic. Well, if you've been listening to the first part, you'll know he's already here, but he's here. <laughs> hey, Hello. Hello. Uh, so talk to us about that track then. What's the 
what's the kind of story behind that? How did that one come about? Yeah. So I, again, wrote these songs during lockdown. So this one was during lockdown. Um, and it's a song that Ecclesiastes talks about a time for everything. And sometimes there's a time to fight. And actually, sometimes there's a time to give in. And I feel like when we do that, or when I was singing this song, it's just like, gosh, like, I just can't keep fighting. I just can't keep going. Something's got to change. God, I've just got to run to you. And mm. that's what that song's about. Um, it's about taking our issues and just running away to God. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. And was it one uh, that sort of came to you quite quickly? Was it one you had to work on quite a long time? or The chorus came to me very quickly. Um, and I guess that kind of sets the scene for the rest of it. Um, but I have written many verses to this song. Really? Um, but I'm I'm pleased with where it ended up. Yeah, the verses are cool. And the bridge especially as well. That was the last thing that came about. Um, and I think that, that sums up the meaning really well about God's grace. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And um, was it, I don't know if it's the same with all of your songs and stuff, but does the music come first? Does the words come first? Does it kind of a bit of both? Do you kind of marry up little kind of riffs that you've had in your ideas bank from a long yeah. time before how did it you know kind of come about from those yeah two aspects? again a bit bit of everything really but yeah generally i'll write songs just by just by sitting there in, in the silence and and just playing the guitar and, and seeing what chords sound uh or, or give me a feeling of what i'm feeling and and some so sometimes it's melancholy sometimes it's happy and i just try and uh yeah play the guitar to to kind of match that vibe and then once i've got that set i've got a bass line to then write yeah. lyrics over Oh wow! So it's all so it's pretty much always music first then. In pretty much life. always, unless I'm just, you know, walking along or in the car and I don't have the guitar sure. and something just comes into my head or yeah, yeah. I'm feeling a certain way. Sometimes it comes from poetry. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, sometimes I'll write a whole story or a whole poem before yeah. trying to match that to a, to a song but that's quite difficult <laughs> that's awesome yeah cool ah oh, it's such a such a cool process it's a process i'm fascinated in i love music playing mm. guitar badly myself and i like, <laughs> never nailed down songwriting so i'm always interested i mm. i heard um an interview with jen johnson the worship leader and she was mm. saying one of the really famous songs she wrote i think it was goodness of god or something but mm. um like the chorus was a complete, as far as she was concerned, it was a completely different thing to the verse. Mm. Uh, and they were just two different ideas, basically, mm. that she had kind of, you know, uh, played around with and stuff. Mm. And, you know, one was very personal to her, really. Um, and then her husband sort of suggested, oh, why don't you put that with that? Like, yeah. have you ever had that happen where two things seem really different and then all of a sudden it becomes one, yeah. one song or something? I mean, or? generally the other way around. <laughs> right, right. So normally I have a song and go, mm, <laughs> but it doesn't really work. Or the, the verse is great, the chorus is great, but but maybe they're not not quite the same. And then uh, I guess, yeah, I split that into two songs. So, yeah. so maybe that's better. I don't know. No way. <laughs> that's cool. So you end up like multiplying. It's more efficient. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you like, do you have anyone... Because obviously, I guess another aspect to it is, um, it, you know, being self-critical of like, mm. like you just said there, like, mm. oh, well, this bit sounds fine, that bit doesn't, like, mm. recognizing something you've written actually isn't that great. Is it always just mm. you that you kind of like play stuff to? Do you play it to friends, family? Yeah, yeah, I play it to family. Um, my my wife is is a great uh, musician too, although she hides that. Probably shouldn't say that on radio, <laughs> um, but she's amazing and. Uh, passing things through her is it was always a good idea. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, yeah. cool. Amazing. So lastly then, uh, Will, tell us about where people can hear this EP, um, where they can find out more about you as an artist and, and sort of follow what you're doing, um, all that kind of good stuff. Yeah, great. So my name is Will Allen and the new EP is called A Great Calm and you can find that on all streaming platforms. If you want to find me on social media, uh, it's Wallen Sings. So W Allen sings, and that's all social medias. You'll find me everywhere, somewhere, everywhere. Ha Good have stuff. a search. It's <laughs> Allen uh, A double -L, L E N. That's that right, because right? mm -hmm. there's a fair few spellings of Allen. That is true. It? So. It's it's the trouble with having two first names, <laughs> yeah, and also the trouble of having a very common name. <laughs> so. I like I like Wallen sings. Maybe you should just go by Wallen. Maybe I should. Like Although a... I I did try this once, and there's a there's a French singer out there already called Wallen. Oh. so they've <laughs> yeah, taken I it. But maybe one it's day cool. I'll rebrand. So it doesn't. <laughs> it kind of yeah. It conjures up different images of a different artist. I think. Um, good stuff. All right. Well, thanks, Will. Uh, wish you all the best, and uh, yeah, do track down Will's stuff uh, on all those good social media sites. <laughs>